Hey, it's Steve. In this video, we're going to take a look at the progress I've made on the structures for my HO scale switching layout. So the structures on this layout are being built from three different uh, Walther's HO scale warehouse kits. I'm kind of combining the parts to build the larger structures on the layout. Um, it's a modular structure kit where you basically you get different types of wall panels and door openings and loading docks and that kind of thing. You can pretty much arrange them however you wanted to. So the first step was to basically go through and sand all the parts that I was going to use and then line everything up to figure out how I wanted to lay out the wall sections. Now to assemble them, I'm using a adhesive that's actually designed for fish tanks. It's an acrylic uh, liquid uh, welding type adhesive. And so I'm using that with a needle applicator to glue all the panel sections together. And it's just pretty much a matter of uh, assembling all the panel sections in the correct orientation um, using the included uh, connector pieces. And the thing to be careful of here is that the wall panels do have a certain orientation to them in terms of uh, different lines and such on the panels and so you have to make sure that you don't uh, install them upside down because you, you they will go together upside down and so you have to make sure that everything is lined up correctly in terms of the wall markings. So I'm using a combination of wall panels and loading doors to have the correct spacing um, that I need for my 40 foot uh, uh, box cars I'll be using on this layout. And now instead of assembling the, the side wall you know by itself together first and then standing it upright, I went ahead and did it piece by piece, which was a little bit, which was a little bit harder to do, but uh, I basically just went ahead and clamped those together while everything was drying. And then the, the kit does include some base pieces you can apply along the bottoms of the walls to help strengthen the whole wall structure. And so those were glued in. And then uh, the corner piece here was uh, also glued in to help ensure that I had a, ni a nice 90 degree angle on the right hand side there. And so once all the corner pieces were in, the overall wall structure was uh, quite a bit more rigid. Um, however, they also do include a cap for the top of the walls that does sort of the same, same thing besides adding, besides adding a little bit more detail. It does also help to strengthen the joints. And so the combination of the brace on the bottom of the wall and the rail on the top of the wall does produce a nice rigid wall structure. I also went ahead and cut out all the pieces for the loading bays and got those assembled and glued together and sanded. Um, so those would be ready to be painted as well. Um, again, I'm going to basically assemble everything in terms of the overall structure and then paint that and paint the uh, doors and everything individually and then assemble those all together once they are uh, uh, completed. So I'll kind of go ahead and do all those uh, items individually. But again, there's you can see here, there's a whole variety of wall and door type of selections you can use. Um, once I finished assembling everything, I did go ahead and, and sand all the joints to kind of get them smoothed out. Uh, also to sand off any of the glue or any of the adhesive that had basically seeped through to the other side. Okay, so with the first main structure piece complete, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the second main uh, piece of the large structure that will be serving as the main backdrop for the layout. So once again, I'm going to go ahead, sand all the pieces that I need to assemble, glue everything, and then see how everything fits on the layout. Like before, I'll be using my um, adhesive that basically is a, is a welding adhesive for the plastic. And I'll go ahead and get this uh, first wall section assembled here. Make sure I have the lines, uh, you know, even, since if you do them upside down, they're not going to be lined up correctly. And this is the side piece, which will go on this side here. Okay, so now I have the basic frame of the uh, second piece of the large structure. So this will be some loading docks for trucks. This will be, this will be the main entrance door. I'll have another rail car loading dock here and just another regular um, entrance door on the, uh, the end here. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at what everything is going to look like on the layout. So you can see here how these uh, two sections are going to look on the layout. Again, a large section on the right of the structure is going to have five loading bays for rail cars. So I can spot five different 40 foot cars along that, uh, that section of track. The other section of track here, um, or the left hand part of the, of the structure is going to only have one loading bay. I may include uh, 
um, an area to offload like a corn syrup car or something, but probably I'll just leave it as a box car loading bay for now. Um, that track can actually hold two cars, but I'm only going to have one loading bay on there at this time. That's uh, going to be for larger or for longer rolling stocks, so I can spot 50 and 60 foot box cars there inside. But anyway, you can kind of see how the main structure is going to look. Obviously, I have to work on uh, assembling the roof pa the roof panels together, um, getting all the various uh, details I'm going to be using um, ready to go and painted. Anyway, you can see here how things are progressing, and thanks for watching. Bye.